Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own line pool. Um, uh, this is the one I built just now. I'm going to show you how to build it. It's made with Power Pro, Silk Gate, Slick Gate, Super Slick Gate. It's the expensive one. I know, but it's the best stuff that you can use for line pulls. Um, it's made with a double, two double surgeon loop knots, which I'll sh leave you the, the link to the page where I got the knot from. Um, these are magnetic beads, and this is just your standard bait bead uh, that you use for rigging. Um, this is awesome. Um, I use it all the time when it comes to dark threads. Uh, you just gotta be careful when you do your the light white white threads, pastels, stuff like that. Um, when you pull it through, it will leave. Uh, like a brown residue on the light stuff. So you just got to make sure you can't use it on that. But other than that anything dark this works great um, uh, And I'll show you how to make it uh, Stay tuned Okay, so here's how we get started. We're gonna take our old one and We are going to cut Let's See if I can get this on frame here We're gonna cut all of these part the these beads off so Sorry. I'm doing this where I could try to find it. Okay. And I'm going to pull everything out. Runaway bead, runaway bead. Okay. So we got our beads. Um, and now we need our new thread. Um, what I used before this this was I think 65 and that was probably too big for for some uh, a size threads to pull um, I you know I'm not gonna lie sometimes I break my thread pulling through and I'd have to start all the way over with this but I think if I downgrade so I think this is the 30 um, power pro silk 8 um, in timber brown you can use the green one I just happen to have the brown one around um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie on a double double surgeon's knot. That's the right name for it. Double surgeon's knot. Um, and I'll leave some instructions right here. I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to do the um, double surgeon's knot, loop knot uh, off camera. I'll leave a um, instructions for you to read and do it yourself. And I'll come back and show you what I've done. I'm only doing one right now. So what I did is I did my surgeon general, double surgeon general loop, double surgeon's knot, double surgeon's loop knot. You know what I mean. And, uh, and I'm going to cut the tag in off right here. These are for thread. I shouldn't be using those. What I do need to get are some of these. These are Fiskars. This is a tip in itself. Fiskars, uh, little kids' scissors. They cut braid perfectly every time all right so i cut my tag in off and now i'm going to take my beads and how i'm going to do these beads is get that back over here so i'm going to take two of these magnetic beads two in my hand right here and i'm going to thread these on the other tag in I'll get the other one in a minute. Having trouble. There we go. There's one.
two. Okay, then we put our bait bead on. And then we go with the other two magnetics. I could do this with with one on each side, but I'm keeping good sense of mind here. I'm gonna go two and two on each side of that bait bead. Okay, and now we're ready to do our second uh, um, Surgeon General knot. And how we do that is we make sure that these beads are in the middle of our loop like so and we do our we do our knot regular I'm gonna do that off camera and there you have it um, all done uh, I got some tag ends that I could just snip off real fast and there you go the beads are great for sticking on to your uh, uh, some real seats will let it stick on there if they're magnetized, um, if they're able to magnetize. Uh, just about anything you could use. Let's see, where are we at here? There you go. Um, to hold this together, to keep it to store, to, so you don't lose it. You have the red bead for and the beads for grip to pull, but you also have them there to hold your uh, hold this together and keep it, you know, where you need to go. Um, I have a uh, tray right here that I use to keep all of my rod building stuff that I do when I do my wraps. And um, right here, all it is a little piece of uh, uh, magnetic tape that I use just to hold that there in place so I don't lose it whenever I'm doing my wraps. Comes off easy and I'm good to go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, every Friday I try to make a rod tip video. Um, and uh, if you like these videos, leave me a like, subscribe please. And uh, thank you again. You guys have a great day.